I have a confession. X-Men The Last Stand is my favorite X-Men film. Now, I've heard a lot of complaints about this particular installment in the X-Men franchise, and I didn't hear any of this until after I saw the film three times in theaters. Three times. That was how much I liked it. So I was really confused. I, I later went back and revisited the film after hearing the critiques, and I still didn't understand. I just really love this film. I really do. Um, I've heard some of the complaints are very rooted in the comic books, and another confession, I actually haven't read the X-Men comic books, so I feel like that might have helped my enjoyment of the film. But even as such, the way that comic book films work these days, there's never a limited amount of stories that can be told. Just because this is the way this particular franchise handled X-Men doesn't mean that there couldn't be a TV series or a reboot of the X-Men or any number of options for telling these stories. So I don't feel like that really inhibited this individual story for me. Um, there was a lot of characters added who were killed within the same arc without getting to know them. Really that just added to the depth of this universe for me to show like how many of the mutants live in this world. There certainly were some problems with the film, um, and a lot of that is attributed to the short amount of time that Brett Ratner had to make the film. It was made in, I think, nine months when it was supposed to be an 18-month project, and really it's incredible that the movie is as good as it is, as it is with that rushed of a schedule. Uh, yeah, I laughed out loud when they were crossing the Golden Gate Bridge, and it's daylight, and when they get to the other side, it's the middle of the night. Problems like that don't bother me, though, for the, the heart of the film. What I love about the film is um, the emotional pitches, the, the soundtrack. Dark Phoenix's theme is just amazing, and it gets me every time. The, the love triangle is made so much deeper by Jean having to kill the person that she loves and then be killed by someone who loves her at the end. It, it really like adds depth to what had previously been a sort of shallow love triangle. And, and I just loved that. I thought it was so emotional and so powerful. I also really love Professor Xavier in the film. I love his death scene. I love the cookie at the end. It is so powerful when he is there trying to stop Jean, or Dark Phoenix as it were, and she is just lifting everything up and tearing everything apart, and that music is playing, and you see him get torn to shreds, and it's so sad and so powerful, and the effects are so cool, I mean, particularly for the time. And, and then conversely, that is just, that is just my aesthetic when I am mad. I am Jean Grey. When someone is trying to control me and I have just, I'm just not putting up with it, that scene is just how I feel inside. And, and so I just love it, it's so powerful. And then, and then the cookie, the cookie at the end, where he is the man in the coma. I wanted to see that paid off so badly. Days of Future Past did acknowledge some of the storylines of The Last Stand, and it brought some of the characters back that we really loved, and that was really great, but they just dropped that cookie at the end, and I really wanted to see how that would pay off. Clearly they had a plan for it, and I wanted to see more, and I was really disappointed that there was so much animosity toward The Last Stand that they just tried to skirt around all of that when I think there could have been something really cool there. So, in conclusion, give X-Men The Last Stand another chance. There's been a lot of films in this franchise. It's clearly going in all kinds of interesting directions. Nothing is set in stone. Everything can be explored deeper and further. And with that in mind, Give X-Men The Last Stand another chance.
maybe after midnight.